Hello, welcome to my God of War Ragnarok video. So here are the timeline and controls for the game. Hello, welcome to my God of War Ragnarok video. That was just my timeline and the controls for the game. So right here I'm fighting Drekki. This game is very simple. You could save at any time. So Drekki is one of the bosses. Um, the combat evolves. The graphics are amazing. The best I've ever seen. This is a PlayStation exclusive game that also comes to PC. It plays very well on the PS5, and yeah, check out the timeline if you need to follow along. There are puzzles, but it's very fun. Here's a new game. Atreus, who is uh, Kratos' son. I'm just going to do the middle. And then you get another cutscene. I just got to tap circle a lot. At the beginning of the game, you need to vaguely move left and right to avoid objects for like two minutes. Oh damn dude, my controller just growled at me. That's Fenrir and his other wolf, who you see later on. And so you gotta follow the lights for the first cutscene. So this is Fenrir. Um, Atreus later puts Fenrir's soul into the giant wolf. So that's Mimir. Mimir is... Um, he gets imprisoned by Odin for 109 years and Kratos saves him. So this redhead Fey here, uh, she is actually Deborah Ann Wool from uh, True Blood as an actress uh, who is in Destiny 2. Scene, um, you leave your house and you're just going to make the first left, which you won't ever remember. You always have to just follow the lights, it seems, in, these, in this area. Yeah, so like I said before, I mean... Dark Souls 3, obviously, like, they have, like, bonfires and stuff. This game, you just save, like, wherever you want to save. Like, it's a completely different game. They really change it up where, like, in this game, essentially, it's a completely different game. You have, you have to, like, change up your play style. So, this... I'm just gonna skip ahead. So you could hold triangle to frost up the axe. I assume so, right? Tap L1 to parry. I'll never remember that. I mean, why are you changing up the formula from Dark Souls? Dark Souls, like, perfected gaming. Like, anything besides Dark Souls is a blight to society. Alright, I got some forged iron there, which you use to upgrade your armor, similar to raw hide. Torches. You could also find some shattered runes and hack silver, which are both gold. Hack silver is the gold. Um, later on, I'm going to have to uh, save Tyre. He's like some old, old dude. Uh, before I had Mimir, like Mimir's head. I don't know how to open this chest. I guess maybe you have to defeat all the enemies first. The first boss is Bajorn. You press R1 to hit him a lot. You press L1 and X to avoid. You don't frost up the axe, and you press L2 and R2 to throw the axe at him. This game's like... Kinda cringe. I just don't... I just need to not frost up my axe, I guess. Just don't frost it up. Ain't no frost here, dude. Don't worry about it. So when you're fighting Bajorn, you just need to straight up hit him with the axe and L1 and X to evade. You do not, you do not frost up your axe to throw it with L2 and triangle. Nice, dude. I like how the checkpoint's halfway through the fight. Looks like I'm about to beat Bajorn. Demon Souls and WoW videos. Alright, so press square. Nice, dude. Why didn't you cast a spell? No, I didn't. But I saw yeah, dude, I mean, 
I like how they take away like finding the way. That's pretty nice. So I just need to get forged iron and hack silver. Rawhide and shattered runes as currency in these chests all over the place. So I need to climb. I need, I need. Add it with these mother snakes. It was like on like the Blizzard app and stuff. Wow. Like the Call of Duty app, and like by getting caught on PC, like I got caught on PC and stuff. World of Warcraft on the PC. So it's like they limited. Always follow these lanterns here, dude, on the way back. Pretty simple. Go, that was entirely too eventful. Oh, there's Thor. So Thor, his hammer is called Mjolnir. It gets built by Sindir later on in the game, who is a short elf. So that's Odin. He imprisoned Mimir for like 109 years before Kratos released him from his imprisonment. He's got the axe to his face. Barbarian area. It's like way too much damage there, dude. I can't even dodge that. Axe doesn't even come back. Alright, so I'm gonna hit him with the pillar. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. So the Thor boss is actually a little bit difficult. You're gonna press L1 and X to dodge, and you hit him with these pillars. And essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is just throw the ax at him, keep your distance, dodge his wind attacks, and his clap attacks, and then just press L2 and R2 to throw your ax at him. You need to maintain your health. So the YouTube trailer I'm based my playthrough on is MK Ice and Fire. I'm hoping that, like, he's the right choice. Like, he's silent, like everybody else on YouTube. Like, they just play the game. They know people don't want to hear anything. Oh, no. Yo, I thought. I, I thought. I thought, dude. I don't understand what that that wind shot is. This is the man who faced down Seagrim, the Valkyrie Queen. I'm totally gonna die, dude. Jeez. I hate how all the streamers play this game loud. It's like, dude, I don't want to hear. <laughs> like, I really don't. Like, I know you guys, your main audience is, like, people, like, leaving the game on Steam. So you get your health back once you get over here. But yeah, that, that tree, it, it appears later on in the game, too. And also in Inside the Video Game by Playdead, they also have, um, like, this underwater area in the lab where they have, like, a, like a tree, like, frozen on the other side of the wall. Obviously, trees are like a huge part of video games. Where's the love of 
like by my standards. I know like the Grand Tree and like RuneScape was like a huge one with the Black Demon. I'm about to do uh, Monkey Madness. Um, I'm about to do Monkey Madness too, which has Glau from the Grand Tree in it. You need 360,000 Hunter XP to do that though, which takes like so much time. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. Doesn't matter though, I pressed the right button afterwards. Yeah, you guys remember Static Shock? I think Danny Phantom was way cooler than Static Shock. But Static Shock had a significantly cool intro. And that's where like all of the drama came from. What the fuck, dude? That was that was terrible. It's kind of cool. It looks like my Dolby, my Dolby the 3D theater, and in New York. All right. So right now I'm at the the God of War armor upgrade screen. So I'm gonna press X. And I'm going to select Vidir's Pauldron of Might, uh, the weapons, Leviathan Axe, attach the wooden knob. So it lets you control it after a little bit. So for chest armor, I'm going to do Vidir's Pauldron of Might by oh, upgrade. Okay. So you click in the middle button to access the map and the skills, the armor. Um, I'm going to press RT and... Uh, the skill I'm going to unlock Vaporize Frost for the Blades of Chaos. So, Vaporize Frost is... Oh, you move with the analog. So, I'm going to unlock Vaporize Frost for... You hold down square. X. So, you press up on the D-pad. And I'm going to do Extinguish Flames. So, I hold down square to unlock that. I'm just going to move all the way to the right with the analog stick. And I'm going to unlock Glacial Rake. So you hold R1 to drag the axe through the ground and rip out ice shards. Um, like the hammer he has. So this gate just opened diagonally, just run and follow the lights. Skill upgrading in this game isn't complex. You just need to follow along. There's a chest there. I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? After this chest, you're going to come upon a hanging person. You're just going to head straight and just clear the brush with your Blades of Mercy by pressing left on the D-pad to equip it. Okay. So, you press left to equip the Blades of Chaos, and you press LT and RT to ignite brambles. What the fuck? I had calling me here. Whoa. That one's still alive. No. All right, so I go to the left there and grab some more hacks over, but I'm gonna continue straight forward and beat these dudes with my blades of chaos. So I could go to the left here and grab some hacks over. I go straight to continue. I'm gonna grab the hacks over. It's definitely a trap here for sure, but the more I could upgrade, the better. Yeah, everything makes sense, for sure, like, at all times. So I'm just going to continue straight after that. You could fight the dude on the tree, but he doesn't give you any hack silver whatsoever. Really cool. 
What's the um, name? The Hades was a fun fight. It's like... You hop over like the lava and stuff or whatever. Just everything about that was was fun. Get in like the Titan's hands. Like having the Titan pick up like little Kratos in between his fingers. And curl you up into a little Kratos ball. Just everything about it. Blades of Chaos. Like, that's not funny. Blades of chaos. Uh, Alright, so this pillar, you need to move it twice. This is the only annoying thing in, after Thor. Essentially, you move the pillar, and you hop across. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giant. And then you move the pillar back. It's like, who, fi who figures that out, dude? Like, that's like literally impossible. That's like the most, like, that's like the hardest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And then this one, you have to press L2. Yeah, this one's easy. I'm not even explaining this one. Yeah, this game's a joke, dude. Straight up. Especially during this time of year. Like tan and shit. Like, I was watching professional streamers play this, and like, obviously, like, they they don't edit their content. They just so right now these are frost enemies. You can tell by the blue bar above them. So I need to pr tap triangle a lot to charge up my blades of chaos and then hit them with it. Um, to deal damage. The Blades of Chaos are in God of War HD Collection 3. They're really cool. You got them from Hades. I also like the, the Helios fight in there. That shit was mad fun. I remember locking into um at locking into God of War because my friend had like the PS4 once and I was like I was like yeah God of War is pretty dope and I don't know he's like hey, hey, hey. Oh, you have to press right on the D-pad to take out the axe. And then left to take out the Blades of Chaos. Okay. Relatively straightforward. nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Yeah, I feel like showing the full game is like really pointless, dude. Like the whole uncharted climbing thing. Oh, you could charge up your axe throws. It's kind of cool. I'm talking like you come back to your house and you're Huntress pulls me off this wall right here. And I got the the blades of chaos. I'm gonna fight this deer. Okay, so I'm gonna press right on the D-pad to fight the third boss, the Huntress, and then L2 and R2 to throw the axe to break the horn. Then I press left on the D-pad, take out the Blades of Chaos. And then right on the D-pad, L2 and X to dodge. And I'll press L2 and R2. And then triangle to recall if I miss. L2, R2, throw the axe. And then left on the D-pad, 
clicking the right second R1 to swing at her. So the Hunter's boss is uh, relatively easy once you know that. That's how you beat her. Um, if you've ever seen... You get to hit her horns when they're lit. Otherwise it doesn't count. You need to keep that in mind. If her horns are not lit, it doesn't work. You're not able to break them if they're not lit. It's very specific. You're wasting your time uh, throwing the axe if her horns aren't lit. After you beat the Huntress, you unlock a light runic attack, L1 and R1. You could use it, you have to recharge it. It's really good. I like it a lot. For runic attacks, they're slotted into his weapons. Alright, I'm going to select Winter's Bite. Up to strike a target with incredible force. While blocking, press R1 to use a light runic attack. Okay, so I just need to climb here. It's a little confusing. After the Huntress, you just climb at this wall. You go that way, but let me go get this item over here real quick. The Ashen God. Okay, so after climbing, you essentially run over here. I think if you that's how you need to actually summon the Valkyries though. I didn't look it up. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. I take so you can't move this pillar yet because there's a tree in the way. So what you gotta do after knocking the snow off of the tree, you break the tree, and then you lock onto the pillar again and move it. Then they tell you about Schrottelheim, uh, with like a cool pyramid, like scene, right here. Wolf giants. Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. I can't believe this is the inside of my Starbucks cup. This is kind of cool thing. It's just my Starbucks cup. Yeah, check out the sand though here. Kind of dope looking, right? Extend like on gold. Um, what's the guy in Dark Souls Three DLC? The something king or whatever. I don't, I, I didn't play it yet. What is this? I have no idea. Everything I found. Well, Slave King Gale. Okay. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. Ooh. Treasure. <clears throat> There's a shortcut this way. Alright, so you run over here, but I'm gonna hop down here to grab this treasure, which I can't. Can I get can I get it? We must tread carefully, Oh, here's how you get to the treasure. Okay. You okay fighting without a shield? I was like, what the hell, dude? Did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. Yeah, I got the raw hide over there. So you guys uh see my Morrowind Daedric? Uh, face of God stream, not face of inspiration, but the face of God stream. I went into uh, the one cavern located near, I think, Tellfire in Morrowind, and uh, you need to like run around like a maze and stuff. But they have like a Viking ship at the end, and it was kind of cool. Enough. We will go. Really? But 
Forged iron. Not find here. You will nice, dude. Your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Yeah, this game, it has like nice waters. Like their graphics are really cool. Like the the sand there looks very cool. You like vaguely start off with like you have to do here's Sindri again. So Sindri he built Thor's hammer. His brother is Brock. He's an elf. Well, his house. So I'm going into Sindri's house now. I I think Salt. It's nothing much, I don't know where it's safe Muspelheim. Uh, Sindri's house. This is kind of cool if you've ever played like Shadowrun. I don't know. Trees appear like everywhere. In games with like uh, FF9 and I don't know. Does he seem Looks cringe? I'm gonna craft the stone wall shield by holding square. Cause that's what MK Ice and Fire does. Um, so for wrist, I'm gonna go with the Bracers of Might. Oh wait, companion armor. Brothers brand investment. Okay. I'm gonna go with the Bracers of Might. Hold square. Obviously you pay hack silver to craft all this stuff. And then for waist armor, I'm gonna go for the. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do waist armor. He goes back to weapons here, and he does Leviathan axe. Looks like Fimble winner. And hard on our girl. Give her he here. holds a, a square to upgrade. Okay. Upgrade of Leviathan axes six. What's this? Oh, you got some loot right here. The guy on YouTube didn't even speak with this guy over here. What's this in the window? Let's talk with Sindri. I feel like that ruins the experience. Here you're, you're a wizard, Dobby. Let's talk to him real quick. Now I'm just gonna leave. We look like Trias. All right. See you out there, Sindri. Go to this door with Mimir's head. Okay. All right. So the Mystic Gateway. I need to go to Schwartelheim. Concentrate. I I keep saying Schwartelheim. Oh. Impre Hold X. This is the way. I'm just gonna save here though, cause that's why I stop. Pretty. This is the quest for Tear. This is a pretty area. Check out the. I got a frog here. Nice frog. Chillin'. Check it out. I think this frog may may actually beat the, the golden sands from before. As my stream pitcher. God of War. With like a a, a light green right here. With the frogs just chilling. Yeah, the frog.